Hi everybody, I'm Stefan for Tuts Plus and here we are in White Room. I've already imported the raw sequence of the star apps and as you can see we have a lot of noise and the white balance is not correct so we have a lot of work to fix this and bring some more details so I'm going to jump to the develop module here in white room and the first thing that I'm going to change is the white balance and probably it needs to be more like a blue color so I think that 3200 Kelvins is fine for this shot and the next thing that we are going to fix is maybe the exposure you can see if we increase the exposure the sky gets brighter and if we decrease it what's going on of course increasing the exposure will make the current noise even more noticeable so I'm going to keep it low like 0.2 and we need to increase the contrast as you can see if we bring it all the way down to a hundred percent we see the stars better but everything else is pretty dark so we need to keep this low as well like 15 percent and maybe if we scroll down and reduce the blacks to negative 50 percent we can see more of the stars and if we play with the quality you can see that increasing the quality introduces a lot more detail here where you can see the Milky Way but also you can see how the noise looks like when we increase it so increasing the quality will introduce additional noise to our sequence which is something that we don't want and as I said in the written part of the tutorial I regret I didn't use a full frame camera to shot this with a faster lens and maybe we can increase the vibrance to 15 percent and you can play with the highlights here maybe set this to 15 as well and with the shadows I think that we need to leave the shadows to zero and if we increase the whites you can see that brings some more detail but also introduces a lot of noise so basically if you shoot on a crop camera and use a very high ISO like in my case you are very limited in the post-production process however White Room has pretty nice noise reduction module here and it handles the noise pretty well but before that I'm going to enable the profile corrections for my lens and as you can see the, it fixes pretty well the vignetting around the edges you can see I'm going to leave the vignetting to 80% because I like the edges to be a bit more dark and regarding the distortion I'm going to bring this back to zero because changing the distortion of the lens also decreases the quality around the edges so I prefer in this case to keep the distortion at zero because I don't have any straight lines like buildings or something to introduce a uh, perspective distortion so I prefer to keep it at zero in this case and as you can see white room applies a sharpening by default it's set to 25 percent and if we increase it we are going to introduce and make the noise even more noticeable and we don't want that and I'm going to set this amount to zero because I don't want any sharpening here and now go to the noise reduction and you can see how it looks like at full screen and we are going to zoom at a hundred percent and if we increase the noise reduction this is the slider 
main slider if we set this to a hundred percent you can see how it looks like if we zoom out we lose a lot of detail we can't see the stars anymore we see very few of them and if we set it to zero you can see the difference so basically you have to be very careful it's a trade-off between noise and detail in the picture so we need to increase this and set it to 10 percent and it's better to look at the full size image here and if we set it to 50 we lose a lot of detail and we can increase the detail here to bring back some detail and take in mind that at a hundred percent it might look awful like right now but take in mind that you're going to downsize this to full HD and you're going to watch it at 2 megapixels and you're not going to see all these artifacts from the noise so you need to consider that as well and maybe bring back the noise reduction maybe to 25 percent just to have some reduction of the noise and still keep the detail and in this case we can go to the quality and maybe set it to 25 percent and let's see if we increase it to 100 percent we see a lot of noise but also a lot of additional detail so I'm going to set it to 30 percent maybe set the whites to 10 and set the contrast to 25 maybe set this to 0.3 and see if we can increase the noise reduction even more like 35 to smooth out the image and I think that is a nice trade-off between picture quality and uh, detail here we still see some noise but it is far better than the noise we have in the other images as you can see it's pretty sharp here and we have more detail here and far less noise and maybe you can play with the white balance as well for example you can set it to something like that it depends on what final look you are going for for example we can set it that way and use a filter here and move the filter to the top of the sky and maybe play with the core temperature only of the sky like that let's delete the second one and keep it like that maybe you can add a bit of variation here in the sky and basically that's it how to edit a sequence you have to be careful not to overdo some of the effects like quality and sharpening because it's going to introduce additional noise if you use high ISO and shoot with a crop camera and basically fine tune the sequence and find the sweet spot between image detail and noise and overall image quality once again I strongly recommend using a full frame camera to prevent the amount of noise that you can see on the images here and that's it hope you like this tutorial and find it useful once again I'm Stefan for Tuts Plus and we'll see you next time